But um, okay, Paul. Story number two. Now, this one's quite an interesting one. Sort of come out of nowhere, and I can't believe it hasn't been done already, if I'm being honest. But we are getting, apparently, a reboot of American Psycho. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? Have you seen the first film? The Patrick Bateman, pretty much a cult classic at this point. Um, what are your feelings on, on the first film, American Psycho? Uh, I'll be honest, I've seen I've probably watched it twice, maybe three times since it's been out. It I I like it, it's just not a film I revisit often. It's not one oh I fancy American Psycho. So I wouldn't say I was a massive fan of it in that respect, where I was like, you know, I stick it on every year at Halloween or anything like that. Yeah. Um I it's just a film that I have seen, and when I watched it, I enjoyed it. It just—it's not one I've ever really wanted to fly back to, and I don't know why I've got it. I think I bought it like three years ago, and it's still in the wrapper. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm a big fan of American Psycho for sure, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't. Would I say I watch it every year? No, I wouldn't. But I do watch it every couple of years. Hundred mm-hmm. percent for sure. I think it's. I'm not like a massive comedy fan, like at all, really. Like, as I've got older, the less comedies I watch. I don't know what Same. it is, but like the early aughts and the early 2010s, I was way more, you know, I'd I'd stick on a comedy. I'd like them, but for whatever reason, as I've got older, I'm I'm my soul has got darker and darker. Yeah. So- Same. American Psycho is like the best comedy of all time for me at the moment. <laughs> at this point in my in my life. Um I've always found it quite funny, but now I find it really funny, like in a sick, twisted sort of way. Um, especially when he, like when he's got the like prostitutes found at the end. It's very sick and demented, but it's like Sabrina, eat it. Don't just look at it. It's just like <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's sick and twisted. But American Psycho is getting a reboot, apparently, from a uh, Lionsgate. Um, I didn't realise it was a Lionsgate uh, property. But, um, yeah, according to the Insnider, which I think is Jeff Snyder, who's a, who's a journalist, film journalist, mm-hmm. Lionsgate is looking for a team to write a script for a 2020s era American Psycho reboot. So were you aware that this this film already had a sequel in the early aughts? Uh, yeah, isn't it a, a female instead? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I've yeah. not seen it. I think it's uh, Melina Kunis who's actually the lead in. Is it? I might watch yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think she she's uh, she plays the lead in the second one, and she is the the psychopath in the second one. So is she, is is she, she, is she like is she like related to him or anything? Or is it just like a completely different story? I have no idea, Paul. I I, I, oh, stayed, right, I, I, I oh, okay. stayed well aware of it, away from it. <laughs> Apparently, it's absolutely fucking dreadful. <laughs> So yeah. I've just kept well away from it. But um yeah, like the you know, I think American Psycho as a property for a reboot is, you know, why the hell not? But um they've I wonder how they'll go with it. Like to me, I don't know if you you're aware of the Netflix show You. Um I'm only aware of it because my girlfriend's a big fan of it. Georgia watches it. Same, same. So I, I I did watch the first season with her, but she's watched the the, mm-hmm. the latest seasons. That reminds me a lot of American Psycho. I can't lie. Like that sort of the the character, the main sort of protagonist antagonist in you, um, he'd be brilliant for it for this for this. But obviously, he, he's played basically that role in yeah. in you on Netflix. Um, but I'd be interested to see where they go with this. Um, I don't think you know, like the story isn't like that in depth where like you couldn't make it for whatever reason in today's climate, maybe social climate or whatever. Like this is, you know, it says here about the toxic masculinity of it all and stuff like that. Um, you could definitely make one of them films in today's climate, especially with how everyone's got an opinion on everything. So like, I don't know, man, like, I don't know. I, I'd be interested to see who they cast in the role as well is it going to be a straight up sort of remake of the original are they going to take any different directions with it is it going to be a female-led 
American Psycho this time. Who knows? Who knows? But um, it's it's based on a book, yeah, the original movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's a there's a novel to it that it's based on. I always like when movies get rebooted uh, from something that was a book originally. Um, for instance, Stephen King's It. We had the mini series, and then we had the the big theatrical version, part one, part two, a few years back. Yeah. Um, I like it to. I like seeing. Now I've not read the book of American Psycho. I'd be actually quite intrigued to read the book of it, knowing yeah. this is coming out, and go back and watch the um, the the Christian Bale version. Um, but what I like when movies do that. Uh, when they're rebooting something that's already been made from a book to see how they change it. Do they, you know, do they take more from the book? Do they add things in that the first film didn't, that was missing? That's quite prominent in the book. It did that. The, um, the, the, the big theatrical it movies inserted a lot more from the book that was missing from the miniseries. So once it's out, I'd be interested to see which one adapted the book better. Yeah, good point. I think, you know, like, I think there's an argument to be made as well when you were adapting um, books into films and stuff like that. You know, there's people out there that are like book hounds that are like, oh, well, you didn't put that in from the book and stuff like that. I think as far as Stephen King's It is concerned, there was some dodgy shit in the book that didn't need to be in the film at all, to be fair. so And the, and the stuff they still didn't put in that they just, they wouldn't have got away with. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. Like, uh, there's a, yeah, like, we're not even going to get into it, but there's a few yeah. things in the It book that are just, like, wild. Um, yeah. But, yeah, um, I'm interested to see what they do with American Psycho. I might take you up on that one as well. I might, I might check out the book, actually, if I can get it in audio form mm-hmm. and just listen to it at work. That might be beneficial um when we're seeing this reboot i know, um, I know my, fr- my friend luke's a massive massive fan of the book and the movie so i might pick his brain about it and see what what he's saying about i might he might have the book and just borrow off him to be fair yeah man we'll, we'll get him to come on if the when the film eventually comes yeah. <laughs> comes out and we'll, we'll see what the differences are but yeah uh i thought this was it came out of nowhere this one for me but um i'm a fan of american psycho so i thought 